It's moving day. So cute, right? Would you love the kids? Kind of itchy. That's floral. If you see us, you do. Hey. Yeah, they're definitely cute, hey. I hate this house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning. Welcome to my empty house. It is Monday morning. It is 8.02 a.m. And I'm currently at the new place. I'm sorry if it's echoey, but there's literally no furniture in here. I'm going to be waiting here this morning until Origin comes up to connect my power. They've given me the time frame of 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. So I hope that they come soon, but equally, what are you going to do? I had a McMuffin and I'm having an ice latte from Macca's for breakfast. Just moving things. <laughs> I do have a load in my car. I'm going to empty all of that out, set that up, do a little bit of organizing in my wardrobe maybe. But it's also Monday. Day, which means it's upload day tomorrow and I have a few little touches I need to make to my weekly vlog so that's kind of the plan while I wait and then pretty much as soon as my power is connected Grace and I are going to go to the gym and then the rest of the day will just be moving as well. Removal is a book for tomorrow so today is just kind of doing like the random things and organizing everything in one big pile for the removalists. It's so weird walking around this house and seeing it so empty. It feels very, very weird, but I just had a shower. My last shower. I'm such a sentimental person, I hate it. But now I need to like get ready and then pack up my bathroom, pack up all the like essential things that I kept here, unmake my bed, and then pack all of the random clothes that I left to wear. I'm gonna pack up the essential things that I left in my kitchen as well, and I'm just gonna load it all into my car. I might do a little bit of computer work and then I'm gonna take over a load to the house. The removalists are coming today anywhere between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. which is such a large window of time but they somehow managed to squeeze me in so I have a feeling that they're gonna come much much later in the day but I could be so wrong so I have no idea. I forgot to show you this when I was showing my skims haul in my last vlog but I also got this robe this is the shorter one of the two it is so soft and I, I <laughs> I actually don't understand how it is so fluffy and so soft. This is an extra large and I kind of wish I got bigger. To be fair, I didn't know that they sold bigger sizes until literally like a few days after I placed my order. I saw someone post in their story that they got one in like a 3XL and I was like, oh my goodness. I just thought XL was the biggest size I had so that's what I got. But I am obsessed with it. It is just so soft and I'm a big robe fan. I think I've been converted. This is what my bathroom is looking like currently. This is what my bed bedroom looks like everything's like organized it just looks a bit chaotic so i'm gonna get it sorted chuck on some activewear and get my life situated <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. Really? <laughs> what are you looking? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just kind of like old dad. I know. Don't put any of this in. If they ask me what I do for work, don't speak to me. <laughs> Last time the guy just couldn't figure it out and I was just like, oh, like, don't worry about it. And he was like, no, like, explain it to me. And I was like, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Honestly, pretty good. That's I'm hungry. Good. Yes. Hard day to work. <laughs> this is wild. The removalist just left the new place and it is honestly a disaster. It's a given, but I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. This is the current state of the house. A little bit hectic. Our issue is that this is our big living room. Hi. Hey. <laughs> but we also have this like sitting room kind of vibe. So we're kind of thinking of either making this a lounge room or a living room and whatever we don't turn this into, it's turning that into the other. But at the moment, I just told them to chuck all this stuff in here because they didn't know where else to put it, but it's just a lot of randomness everywhere. So I feel like the next few hours are just gonna be me running around like a mad woman. But I've been sitting on my bum all day. Probably time I get to work. <laughs> Currently 8.30 and I haven't spoken in a while. Yeah. So removalists came. They were honestly so quick, especially unpacking. Like, I swear, I just sat down on the couch and they were like, done. And I was like, what? And then kind of pretty much as soon as they left, so I started editing and I just smashed it out. I really got so much done and I was so proud of myself. The kitchen is unpacked. My office is unpacked. The like lounge room is all set up. It's all coming together. I made my bed. I did a little bit of washing. We hung it out. Like really smashed it. Yeah. I feel like this, that's the best thing to do because you'll wake up tomorrow. Yeah. And feel like you're settled in. And it's like manageable. Like yes. the stuff I have left to do, it's like mm -hmm. not overwhelming. Yeah. And I'll show you when we go home, but so set up my Christmas tree. And it's actually magical. unreal. Like, I've never had a Christmas tree look that good in my life. So, we're currently in our Christmas pajamas, pimple cream on, about to walk into Kmart, <laughs> hoping that I don't see anyone we know. So, <laughs> if you see us, you didn't. <laughs> you did. <laughs> mm. It's 8.30 p.m. though, and Kmart closes at 9. So, Hopefully we're gonna go in. Quiet. Hopefully. We're gonna buy one more thing of like little gold lights mm -hmm. for the tree, ornaments, mm -hmm. a star, mm -hmm. and then maybe some decorations for like my TV unit, and, like the kitchen bench, maybe my bedroom. Whatever we pick up on. Yeah, like, whatever you see I like. Yeah. I'm very excited. I haven't done like a good Kmart trip in a while. Yeah, me neither. I feel to like be I've honest. only just been to get what I need. Yeah. And that, that's boring. That? Oh, I need a bath mat. Bath mat. And then we're getting dinner after. What a just a great time. <laughs> it really is. I feel so Christmassy. I love it. Oh, I'm assuming the Christmas is near here. Mmm, delightful. We made it to the Christmas section. Straight in our basket. Yeah, they're definitely cute, hey? I love those. They would look awesome. And I think just like them and normal. Simple, yeah. but cute. I can't with our shoes. <laughs> Insert cash, please transaction. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, I've just placed an order on the app. Perfect, guys, to travel through. Thank you. Hi. What, what am I reacting to? <sighs> <laughs> oh, I can't even see you because the Christmas tree is really just taking the spotlight. Look at it! Is that not the biggest, nicest tree you've ever seen? Uh, yes, because we're probably... You can see the, react the reaction. The reaction. <laughs> <laughs> the reflection in the door. We just finished eating dinner. We're about to head to bed, but I quickly wanted to show you the Christmas tree while it's dark and it's lit up. I actually am still a bit mind blown about it. I've never had a Christmas tree look this good. That's so brushing it teeth in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> okay, are you ready to see my tree? <laughs> Ta-da! The one oh. bauble looks so funny. <laughs> we have the decorations there, but I'm too tired to decorate it tonight. So maybe tomorrow, but it looks epic. The tree's from Jingle Jollies. Jingle Jollies. Wowzers. All right, let's go to bed. All right. <laughs>
Good morning. I just got back from the gym. I went to Coles on the way home and just picked up some food for lunch. This morning has been so hectic. I've been complaining all week that my body is naturally waking me up at 5.30 a.m., which is like kind of great because I've had so much to get done, but I definitely haven't been getting enough sleep. But my body just wakes me up and I can't go back to sleep. My whole life, I've never been able to go back to sleep once I wake up. So just very inconvenient. Anyway, because of that, I haven't been setting an alarm. And then this morning, I woke up at 8 50 a.m. which I know to some people is not mind-blowing but I was meeting Grace at the gym at 9 30 and I was expecting to wake up at like 5 30 6 a.m. so that feeling when you wake up and you're like oh my gosh like I need to be out of the door in like five minutes that was my morning and it was so hectic. I ended up messaging Grace and we met at 10 instead. So we went to the gym, we did a push session. It was very good. I think that because I didn't eat very much before the gym, I just felt very like fatigued very quickly throughout the whole session, but I'm still pretty impressed with the weight I was able to push. Grace went home to grab a couple of things. I went to Coles on the way home. She's gonna come over for lunch and we're just gonna sit and do some computer work together. The weather today is so nice. Like I wish I was at the beach. Grace and I have been having lunch together a lot lately and we always get a lunch dessert. <laughs> Cause that's how I want to be living my life. And so I went to a bakery just near the Coles and I got her a carrot cake cause she's been wanting carrot cake for weeks and just won't buy it for herself. And then I got a cinnamon donut. I got some bug spray because I'm assuming this house has had a pest control situation happen recently because that is normally what happens before new tenants move into a rental. And I think because of that, there are like cockroaches and spiders and I'm like, oh, stressed. So I got some bug spray, I got some lettuce, I got a cucumber, some carrot, ham, a big bag of cheese. I got one avocado. I I got three different flavors of monsters. They are on sale. And I also got some sweet chili chicken tenders. I also got a gym tag package in yesterday of a bunch of new releases that I want to show you. I just can't believe I'm like settled into this house. Almost every room is like unpacked. It's not super organized, but everything is out of boxes and like in cupboards and just like away. And like you'd walk through this house and it looks clean, organized. And I'm just like, wow, like I really live here. I handed back my keys to my old place yesterday. It's such a weird feeling, but I already feel so at home here. And I can't really explain it. Like, I don't know why. And even Sophie's like, you look so happy here. Like, you already look so, like, content, happy and settled in here. And, like, I really do. And I'm just so grateful to be here and that everything is just kind of sorted out. I can kind of just take a big, deep breath. <laughs> and really great timing because next week I'm going away. And then I have, like, three Christmas dinners. And then the next week is Christmas. So it's just going to be a very, very busy, hectic time. But I'm just so happy to be here. I'm trying to copy you. <laughs> How do you do that? Just like this. I need inspiration. Like this. Yeah, it kind of doesn't How does stay. Yours stay? Oh, <laughs> yours is <stay. laughs> Oh. Honestly, Mine doesn't really. I'm needs the Georgia control. touch. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to bother. It's fine. <laughs> Just give up, darling. <laughs> Do you buy more cheese? Yeah. Because I ate all the other ones. <laughs> See? But those bags last so long. Like, yeah, why? My other one that I bought said used within seven days. Was it a bag? Yeah. Oh. I've grated cheese. What? It feels weird that it should last so long. But what's it say when it says open? Oh no, within seven days. <laughs> <laughs> Was your what? other cheese? <laughs> Off by months? <laughs> we were eating that though. I didn't feel sick. So no, fine. I didn't either. I've been eating that for months. <laughs> Have you never looked at that? No, I've just, you just always looked at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> This is just editing Georgia here popping in to explain the cheese debacle that was going on in this clip. I <laughs> feel like such a fake adult. I thought that the best before date on the back of my cheese packet was the date that you stop eating it. And I didn't realize that it had a date down the bottom that says once opened, use within seven days. And last week, Grace and I had been eating a bag of cheese that I had for months, but it was within the best before date, but I had it opened for months and months and months. And we were eating that all last week. I bought a new bag this week we opened that we were making lunch with it and then grace and i realized that it said use within seven days of the bottom and i was just so shocked i'd been eating off cheese for months but i never felt sick and i never like tasted like it was off and now i'm just absolutely mind blown and now i've just bought another whole huge bag of cheese that i now need to use within like three days so if you didn't know that already cheese goes off very quickly after you open it so that's very disappointing <laughs> but that's all i have to say enjoy the rest of the vlog <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe you've never seen that. Stop. <laughs> I'm such a fake adult. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Well, you didn't know. So the less yeah, you know, ignorance is bliss. The less you know, the better. One for me. Mm. This is my gym package. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. 
this is nice! Girl! Stretchy. Yeah. Nice. I think this is their studio collection that's probably live by the time this vlog is. Wow. The waistband has all these like details on it. They look comfy. I think this range is also already live. And it's like a waffly material if you can see that. Nice neckline. Yeah. And leggings in the same waffle material. Wow. Wow. <gasps> they are bouncy stretchy. I'm pretty sure this is meant for like outside of the gym, like yoga and oh, yeah. it's so stretchy. Interesting, the waffle shoe is so no, different. It. Love it. I love this because they're coming out with neutrals. Yeah, I like that color. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, cute. Oh, wow. They're just so stretchy. Oh, wow. The track shorts. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, and they look pockets. so comfy. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that color. Great for summer. Fun! I feel like I'd wear these to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be comfy. This is the same as these tights with the waistband because the bottom of the bra has the same. How nice. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. You can see it's kind of like, not plaited, but like, I don't really know how to it's explain it. It's crossy. Yeah, that's a fun color. I like the back of it too. Yeah, nice. I think back. And it's kind of like a bit longer lined, I would say. Oh, more waffle. Wow. I do like that color. This is what I've been most excited about this whole order. It's like a little oh, crop tank nice. to match like the waffle. Yeah. I think these are the same color. Yeah. So cute, right? Nice lounging. And I like that it's a square neck with thin straps yeah. and long line. Oh, so nice. So cute. Oh, I love loungewear. Oh, yeah, and a black. And a black. Classic. Classic. I feel like I'd wear this all the time. Yeah, like And you that. can even like wear it over a sports bra. Like you would wear it under the bandeau. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Love. Yeah, it's a nice color. Yeah. Nice. I'm assuming these are all low support just because they're very stretchy and like extra comfy. Cute. And they don't come with padding, but they have a little slot that you can insert it if you wanted. That material feels so nice. Oh, I like similar to the black. Yeah. Fun. I'm very excited to see what this material yeah, feels like in pink too. And I think the rest of this is new ombre in a new material. It's kind of, I think they're calling it knitted. And the pattern is like kind of different. Because the old ombre was like half grey, half black. Mm, it feels very thick. Yeah. Reminds me of a Dutch camo. Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. My thing with, like, I really like the look of Adapt Ombre, but the fit of it wasn't my favorite because it was pretty tight and, like, I have very thick thighs and the leg was, like, not thick enough. So I'm hoping that because these are a new fabric that they'll be a bit more stretchy. The waistband definitely feels stretchier. Like, it really just feels like Adapt Camo. It actually feels stretchier. Yeah. And the colors are cool. That is fluoro on camera too. Wow. Like the ombre is very subtle, which I like. Oh, look at the bottom pink color. Yeah, fluoro. I think I've ever seen anything like that. Oh, I love. I hope that they fit well. Ooh. Wow. Fun. Yeah, I feel like I cool. have a sports bra this color. I feel like that looks like the bandeau in blue. Yes. Kind of fun. Very cute. I like that. Matching sports bras. Yeah, see, interesting the blue outlines the pink. I don't know how I feel. It's going to be a bright set. They're definitely summery colors. Yeah, which is great for us. <laughs> what do I wear to the gym tomorrow? Yellow. <laughs> You're really certainly yellow, aren't you? <laughs> if I don't want to shower and put it on now. <laughs> yeah, can you? So I can see you try all this stuff on. Well, that's my haul. <laughs>
feel like you've probably seen this all over Instagram and YouTube. I feel like every person has this flannel. And I wanted to jump on the train. However, I wanted it to be really oversized and I only went up to a size 16 and I was like, mm, I kind of just have a feeling that the 16 is not going to be as oversized as I want. So I never bought it. And then I think late last week, Princess Polly launched their plus size range collection, which is so exciting. I've been shopping on Princess Polly for years and have always wished that their size ranges were a little bit better because the 16 wasn't always quite big enough for me. So now I think they go up to a 24, I think, which is so great. The range is really small for now, but even for them to just start a range to begin with is better than a lot of online boutiques. So I'm stoked about it. So this was in the plus size range and I was like, yes, please. It's kind of itchy. Do I need to wash it? Ugh, it's itchy. Ugh. Love the fit. This is exactly what I want in a flannel. Every time I wear a flannel, I feel like Chessie from The Parent Trap, and she is who I want to be when I grow up. So not mad about it at all. I'm about to do a load of washing, so I might chuck this in, and hopefully it's not as itchy once it's washed. What a vibe. I did buy a flannel as we're going into summer, but it's fine. Yeah, cute. Just easy to chuck over like a singlet and denim shorts for summer. You know, because it gets like a little chilly in the evenings. Big vibe. Um, I use Rachel's discount code, which I think is Rachel20. Big fan. Also, the outfit I have on right now is part of the Gymshark package I showed you yesterday. These are both from the Pores collection. They're both online right now. So unbelievably comfortable. Your shipment has been delivered. These shorts are so comfy because they don't dig in like at all and they still like stay on my body. They're so comfortable. They have pockets. I wouldn't say they're like the most flattering, but they're like lounge shorts. Like they're not gonna make you look that good, you know? I love the split in the leg. And then this is what the crop tank looks like. I already know I'm gonna wear these so often. They're so comfortable and they just fit so well. They're like tight enough to like hold you in, but not tight enough to like squeeze in and make it uncomfortable and dig in. Like really big fan. This is what the back looks like. I wish that I got this in every single color because I am obsessed, but I've just been sitting on my couch in the aircon in shorts editing my weekly vlog because I've been super slack and it's already Friday so I need to get a wriggle on I'm just editing drinking an iced coffee at 3 p.m. but I'm going out for dinner tonight not fairly late but I think it's like 7 30 which is later than usual so that's my excuse for drinking coffee at 3 p.m. <laughs> with the squad house tonight which I'm so excited about. When I first moved out of home I moved into a big house with three girls I went to school with. One being Rachel and then Izzy and Skay. Skay now lives like 45 minutes away from me and Izzy actually moved to Sydney both for their work so we just don't see each other very often and that's just kind of like adulthood. You're bound to kind of just grow away from friends, closer to friends just for like periods of time in your life but I feel like these girls are always going to be ones that will always come back. Oh no my camera's falling. Every time Izzy's in town we will catch up and it's just kind of like no time has passed and I appreciate them so so much so I'm so excited to see them catch up with them and because we don't see each other very often we always have so much to catch up on like months and months worth of updates so I'm very excited we're going to the Bavarian on Eagle Street so keen for a palmy hopefully there's not too much traffic but that's tonight's plans Sunday. I had the weirdest sleep last night. I haven't felt like vomit sick in years and years and years. Like I, I don't know if this is TMI and like no one wants to hear this, but like I haven't vomited since like 2015. And then this morning at 1am I woke up and I felt so ill and I didn't end up going back to sleep until 3am because I was just sitting in my bathroom feeling so unwell. And I still don't really know why. Like it could have been what I ate for dinner last night, but like I just had chicken sausages, potato and broccoli. Maybe it was the chicken 
vegetarian sausages. I don't know. Maybe it was the amount that I ate. I have no idea, but I was so unwell. And so my sleep was so bad. So I woke up this morning at like eight and then I just kept trying to go to back to sleep until nine and then I just couldn't. So I just had to get up and get on with my day, but I'm just like not feeling 100%. As you would have seen, I had some breakfast and coffee and I feel a bit better after eating that, but I just feel really like full, but also really hungry at the same time. I don't really know, but kind of awful timing because I'm about to head out the door and go to a Christmas lunch with my Bible study group from church. So I'm about to go and sit in front of all of this delicious food and probably not be able to eat too much of it, <laughs> which is really upsetting, but it is what it is. I also had one of those days where I tried on like 10,000 different outfits. They're all on my bed right now. And this is what I've gone with. <laughs> Super boring. This shirt's from Shopo. I think it's so cute. It's got little frills on the collar, on the sleeve. These shorts are like five years old from Cotton On and they're so big on me now, but I kind of like them because they're big. I'm on my high top converse. And I also just wrapped this present. We were doing Secret Santa. Excited, but like nervous to give this. I hate opening presents in front of people and watching other people open my present to them. So I'm nervous. I feel like I'm very bad at giving reactions to things. So it makes me nervous, makes me a bit uneasy, but I hope that my secret center likes their present. Unlucky if they don't. <laughs> but Grace is about to get here and then we're gonna drive to the lunch together. I did just take some Advil, so hopefully my stomach is just kind to me for the rest of the day because I'm unwell. That is my big update though. After this lunch, I think we're just going straight to church and then I'll be coming home and going to bed. So I'm gonna end off this weekly vlog here. Thank you for coming along with me while I move into my new place. I'm so, so happy to be here and I appreciate all of your love and support always. And I'll catch you in my next vlog in the very near future. Bye.